Hey guys, the United States Postal Service is selling your lost items. <laughs> yeah, let's get into that in some more detail. Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to talk about a couple things. Uh, first, about a package that I ordered for Monkey for Christmas that never arrived. And I'm going to show you some of that here in just a second. But also, we're going to get into the United States Postal Service selling your lost items. Okay? It just doesn't make sense to me, but we're going to get into that. But first, okay, so I ordered a, I'll bring it up here on my PC and I'll show you guys this too. Um, ordered an item for Monkey on eBay, okay. Um, I ordered it on November 24th, okay. And it was supposed to be here, estimated delivery by Monday November 30th okay so I'm gonna show you all this here and uh, uh, but what happened was um, the seller excellent seller um, wasn't their fault they did ship the package and they were in constant contact with me the whole time uh, if I had any questions they got back with me in 10 to 15 minutes tops they were you know and they went above and beyond to try to find this package. Now, they did their job, right? They they shipped it like they were supposed to and everything. Well, package never came, never came. And finally, they put in a, uh, it was, uh, it's called a package research case. They created that on December 8th. And they couldn't find them they didn't hear anything or anything like that so December 15th they went ahead and closed that case and uh, just refunded me my money it was only $18 but still I feel bad for the seller because now they're out the $18 plus the item you know that, that so they can't sell the item again because nobody knows where it is plus whatever they gave for you know to, to source the item to get the item um, which frankly is bullshit and um, so I'm going to show this to you here I'm going to get you off the stand well I'll put the stand over here and I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about on here um, it's totally ridiculous then we'll get into what's happening in these packages that are lost okay so let me get you up here over on the computer screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay guys so this this is what I got for the genuine Sony BLTH HM1 the clip head mount kit for Sony action camera that was for her to wear on her head um, so I ordered that it was um, right here it was ten dollars and then shipping was eight so it was eighteen dollars which I don't know if you can see that or not which it's totally refunded it's already showed up in our bank account but right here November 24th at 5 14 p.m. the tracking the tracking number was provided November 24th at 8 14 p.m. shipping label created USPS awaits item Lexington Kentucky and then here at November on November 26, 8:31 p.m., uh, Origin Acceptance, Lexington, Kentucky, with the same uh, zip code there. Now on a different zip code, it says November 25th at 8:46 p.m., accepted at USPS Facility 10, Lexington, Kentucky, with the it's a different uh, zip code. These two. Um, November 25th at 9.46 p.m. Processed through USPS facility, Lexington, Kentucky. At 9.20, at November, November 29th, that's four days later, when it was supposed to be here, here, on the 30th, estimated delivery by Monday, November 30th. 
right? But the 29th at 745 AM, pre-shipment info sent, USPS awaits item, Lexington, Kentucky. Now, like I said, on December 8th at 507 PM, the seller, she went ahead and, um, you know, put in for the package research case, right? That was created on December 8th. Then at December 15th, you know, that was closed because she had already refunded my money. But right there, it says, estimated delivery by Monday, November 30th, 2020. All right, so here's the tracking info when I tracked it through um, the United States Postal Service. November 24th, shipping label created, awaits item. November 25th, accepted, you know, at the U.S. origin, U.S., you know, USPS origin facility, and then November 26th, 946, it says arrived at USPS uh, regional origin facility. Now this is, I just brought this up just a few minutes ago, and it's still saying November, this is November 29th, and here it is, I don't know if you can see down here or not, but today is Tuesday, December 17th. It is 9.55 p.m., <clears throat> It's saying in transit, arriving late. Your package will arrive later than expected, but it's still on its way. It is currently in transit to the next facility. And it's the same thing up here. Your package will arrive later than expected, but it's still on its way. It's currently uh, in transit to the next facility. Okay, it says in transit, November 29th. You know, um, and right here you can see the uh, product information first class package service okay first class and that's what you get okay now that's something there isn't it that is bullshit I mean people it, come on you know I know it's only eighteen dollars for this person but I've been watching monkey and I have been watching uh, YouTube videos where this has been going on for years but where people are losing hundreds and hundreds of dollars because they're having to refund people's money plus they don't have their product no more anymore and they don't know where it is I think I got an idea where it is let's get to that okay so check this clip out and let's see what you think of this that's some shit now that's a, that's not all okay I think I know where all this stuff's going check this out so what do you guys think about that that's not all of it. that's just a drop in the bucket that's just to give you an idea of what the hell is going on now I understand of course um, UPS and and FedEx I'm sure they do the same thing but here's a thing it goes these lost items some as you you probably seen they're open so somebody opened them well, when they were open, wasn't there a name and address on there? How the fuck it'd be lost? A name and address on there. Okay. It don't get to your destination or my destination, but it gets to there. Someone opens it and they put it up for sale. Okay. That number one is bullshit. Um, I can understand maybe some people move or something and it comes back, but these packages, we're talking about packages that was never delivered to the address they were supposed to be delivered to. They just come up as lost items. They get shipped to this this private company, uh, GovDeals.com, and it gets sold through them. That's bullshit, okay? There's a name and address on there. They can always find you for a, a bill. They find you for a bill. You don't even tell them where you move to. You move to a new a new city, a new state. Your bills are going to find you. Junk mail finds you. You get them little keys, you know. Oh, come to this grand opening of this car lot and you can win a car. Those find you with no problem. But an $18 package that I bought for someone for a Christmas gift can't find its way here but it'll, it, it'll probably find its way to that facility someone will open it with my name and address on it to be resold here's something to think about before I go ahead and cut you off here um, 
You buy those, all right? You go to that because you're, you're a reseller. You're like us. You want to resell, right? You buy. You can buy pallets and all kinds of stuff. I checked them out. You can buy pallets and stuff, cheap stuff. Okay, but let's say you buy a couple items. Who do you think is going to ship it? United States Postal Service. Who's to, it? Didn't make it to the first person. Who's to say it's not? It's going to happen again to you. It ain't going to make it to you. And then what? They're going to sell it again. And sell it again and sell it again. It's a multi-billion dollar profit for the government? Really? And they say, oh, you know, we don't have the money to hire extra people to get these packages out on time. That's why they're getting lost. Now, this has been going on. Look it up on YouTube. I, I, I've been looking them up on YouTube. It's going back four years ago. This same shit was fucking happening, you know. And now it's, now it's because of the COVID. It, it's not because of the Rona. Come on. This is bullshit. It's been going on for years. And I think it needs to stop. And it needs to stop now. You know, because people's losing money. Thousands, millions, millions of dollars. While who's making it? The fucking government. Like, they don't, they don't make enough from us. Multi-billion dollars. Uh, in 19, in uh, 2014. 2014. 88 million packages, packages, not mail, packages, 88 million packages in 2014 was shipped. 2.5 million packages made it to their destination. That's less than 3%. That's bullshit. So think about it. They're just going to keep losing these packages and keep selling them over and over and over again. Who... Who knows? Uh, I, I was also reading reading where where uh, some places are being investigated because because the uh, not only the mail carriers but but the um, the 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 postmasters you, you know are the supervisors are fraudulently they're 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 not even scanning the stuff like they're supposed to you know they're fraudulently it, it's fraud. It's fraud. So who knows? You might order a pallet full of stuff, you know, for five hundred dollars, and it never even leave there. And they, oh, it's lost. It's lost. It's lost. And then two weeks later, because they do this every two weeks, and two weeks later, there's your same fucking thing. There's your same one you just you paid two weeks ago for and never got. But there it is in that warehouse. Who's to say they even ship them out? They probably just keep selling the shit over and over and over again. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, you know, I suppose this is bullshit, guys. They're stealing from people. What if I stole a neighbor's package, brought it over here, ripped it open, and sold it on eBay? Or sold it through, you know, a third party? I'd be in fucking prison in, t in a week. Oh, they'd find me, but they can't find where my package is. That's bullshit, and I'm pissed off about it. And I think, you know, we all need to stand together and stand up for the government, stand up to the government. You know, there's too many people just sitting back and going, well, it's only $18. No, we're talking billions of dollars, because like I said, in 2014, 88 million packages, 88 million packages were sent out, shipped, Two and a half million made it to their destination. Less than 3% made it. The rest of the shit got sold. That's bullshit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And uh, we'll chat at you guys soon. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm off for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.